2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Borough of Brooklyn is the location for the 76ers. One of the most intimidating front courts in the modern era. Embiid and Horford, both ready to roll and get a win at home as they prepare to do battle inside Barclays Center. Sixers, Nets is coming up next and we'll be right back. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. If you'll allow a D.C. kid to be a little parochial right now, while there are some basketball hotbeds throughout the world, Prince George's County in the heart of Maryland is among the finest. A litany of NBA players have come from P.G., including Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Michael Beasley, and Quinn Cook. KD said, it's just in the water. This is what we do. Guys? Great stuff as always, DA, thanks. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. And for Brooklyn, Durant plays the four with Allen at center. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then there's Irving. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two spot. And this should be a fun one because of the pace these two teams play at Doris. It's all about up-tempo basketball. Kev, I'll be surprised if the shot clock gets below 10 even once tonight. That's how fast both of these teams play. And consider this. In the NBA, across the entire 30 teams, your best field goal percentage always comes in the first eight seconds of the shot clock. This should be tremendous. Now here is Harris. Outside, Simmons. The pass to Embiid. Six to shoot. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, you've got to watch those long arms of Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back. Durant kicks to Irving. Behind the back and lays it in. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. And Jared Allen, the big man out of Texas, a big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center. Very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends. Now here's Horford. And here is Simmons. Here's Embiid. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Here's Irving. And with Allen, the amount of four he can cover with a few steps is staggering. And Kevin, it lets him take away chances and opportunities on D. Uh, on the other end, one step to the hoop, and he's completely relocated as a target. One of the best moving bigs in our league. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Now here's Simmons. And it's sent back by Irving. Boy, Kyrie Irving becoming a better and better defender over time. Nice block right there. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Fires for three, and he's good on the three ball. Irving's got five. Boy, Kyrie Irving shoots it with such extraordinary confidence, regardless of where he is on the court. This guy is one of the most dynamic scorers in the league. Now here is Harris. Back to Simmons. Out to Harris. There's the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Lavert got a piece of it. 
Richardson outside. That's tipped. Dinwiddie against Horford. And it's Simmons. Pen oh, that Ooh. was something else. <laughs> Have mercy. And the amazing moves of Simmons. He, he's just so timeout, much timeout. fun to watch with the ball in his hand. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Jordan, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Chandler comes in for Kevin Durant. Prince is checked in for Karis LeVert. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Dinwiddie. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Scotty's checked in for Horford. Horkmaz comes in for Harris. Matisse Theibel checked in for Richardson. And it's Burkson for Simmons. Irving doing work with the pass. That's pretty. And, and Doris, last season for Kyrie Irving, really one of waiting. No Durant on the year to play off of. And then Kyrie's season with the Nets was cut short due to injury. Well, second surgery for Irving in the last three years. You obviously hope he and KD can stay healthy and try to revitalize this Nets organization. Irving is so excited about being on the court. The NBA misses him when he's not playing. Let's hope he stays healthy. What we know about Torian Prince is he's a terrific competitor who knows he's going to lay it all out on the floor every night. For coaches, that is such an invaluable trait. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Prince. A minute 20 left in the first quarter of the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And beat inside, guarded by Jordan. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. What an effort to get the tip in, just wanting it a little bit more. On the wing, Harris to the paint. Here's Chandler. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Burks' shot is good. Well, you love the cleverness of Alec Burks. My goodness, how remarkable is that into the lane and finish? On the wing, Harris. Back to Irving. Puts it up from 17, and Joel Embiid pulls it down. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Burks with it. Over Chandler. Chandler with the defensive effort. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. On the way, Harris. And on the way from Irving for three. That one, no good. One second left. He can't hit that time. And that does it for the first quarter. 
Nets lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And it seems like players are constantly changing teams. Here is Spencer Dinwiddie discussing the effects of that. As, as a team and as a unit, as a roster, we've had a lot of turnover, and so we're all adjusting and, and getting used to playing together and building that chemistry and, and, and that foundation. Greg Dinwiddie, one of those players who seems to adapt to any situation. I mean, he's versatile, total team player, will do whatever is asked of him. He's really emerged after being picked in the second round a few years ago. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. On the perimeter, Harris and Prince. Wilson Chandler out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Irving in at the point. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable. And there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. No doubt about it. And, and Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, I mean, he shoots that step back three, but he's a guy that because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area. C.J. McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. And I love that list. You're right on it. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. Karis LeVert's checked in for Torian Prince. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for Kyrie Irving. He hits the second from the line. Nets leading by six. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Since the Nets acquired Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, the franchise has gone from being an up-and-comer to a potential powerhouse in the East. That's necessitated changes on the bench and on the court. The Nets have added some new veterans. The time is now for Brooklyn to stand up and make its move in the East. Kevin, back to you. Well, we'll see how they do. David, thank you. And now here comes Simmons leading the break. Harris's shot is off. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bring it up now for the Brooklyn Nets. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Kevin Durant. The 2018 Rookie of the Year, Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. That's good from Simmons. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. Al Horford is checked in for Philadelphia. Richardson comes in for Shake Milton. And Simmons drops them both. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He, he could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. The 76ers trail by seven.
Down to five on the shot clock. Takes it from ten. And a dunk by Horford. How about the playmaking ability of Al Horford? Wonderful at positioning himself and capitalizing. Nets leading by five. Dinwiddie outside. KD against Harris. KD passes to Allen. Rebound by the 76ers. Outside, Simmons. Outside, Robinson. Back to Simmons. Here's Horford. Excellent D there from Allen. The Nets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Left block shot on the way. A nice shot by Levert. Levert's got his second basket of the night. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Here's Harris, and it's Durant with the rebound. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. A nice shot by Levert. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Harris over Durant. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Tobias Harris. And through hard work, this has become Harris's bread and butter. A knockdown shooter off the catch. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And Greg, Josh Richardson's a terrific ball handler out on the wing who can't create for others. Richardson gets a lot of assists per game at that wing position, not just looking to finish plays, but also to create for others. Very well-rounded threat on the offensive end, and that gives this team another dimension in terms of playmaking. a new group in for the Nets. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Allen. Chandler comes in for Kevin Durant. Prince is checked in for Karis LeVert. And Irving subbed in for Joe Harris. And then for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Harris. Korkmaz comes in for Glenn Robinson the third, And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Ben Simmons. Now here's Prince. The Nets need to get a shot off here with his first shot attempt and too long on the shot. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by seven. Here's Korkmaz, guarded by Prince, and it's good, two points. Embiid's got his second basket of the game. That's their third straight make off an assist. Irving dishes to Jordan. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Dinwiddie. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Richardson the pass to Embiid. Dinwiddie against Richardson. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Outside Irving, and the layup is good. Irving's got four points this quarter. How about the great body control by Kyrie Irving, one of the best small men in the league at converting through contact. And so it's Brooklyn bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're shooting the ball so well in this one, a great performance from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? 
got to come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know guys are in a in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. Looking at the Nets, and over to Shaq, what do you think about Brooklyn? The guy who's taking control of this game is Kyrie Irving. Ball handling gets him to any spot on the floor he wants. And he's got that deep arsenal of shots once he gets there. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia. They aren't playing tight enough defense. That's pretty clear. There needs to be a lot better communication. Guys are playing defense on an island a lot of times, and that's getting them burned. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Nets leading by seven. Kicking off the second half, here's Brett Brown's five. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, mm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I my was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Did miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today, but, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship as I recall you broke it against Fresno State correct yes yeah got my legs taken out uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my mm. face oh no. yeah oh ouch now here's Richardson he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet on the wing Harris Levert defending Harris's shot is off that's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Irving looking over the floor. KD's shot is good. Well, don't let Kevin Durant get comfortable from the mid-range because that is money in the bank. The 76ers trail by 12. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. And not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Allen. Dinwiddie wide open. A three-pointer off the mark. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. Here is Durant. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Here's Allen. Durant trying to break free. And that one is off. Simmons against Levert. Simmons on the wing. Here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists now in this one. 
and, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Irving. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Six-point game. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Here's Irving, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Ben Simmons. Look, as you see it so often, Kyrie Irving's speed makes him easy to foul. Brooklyn shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Well, an NBA champion. That's what we can say about Kyrie Irving. This guy embraces the challenges and loves the spotlight. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Jordan, he's checked in for Allen. Torian Prince comes in for Karis LeVert. And Harris subbed in for Dinwiddie. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Alec Burks comes in for Josh Richardson. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And Simmons kicks to Burks. Simmons inside. He's covered by Irving. Harris. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the wing, Harris, defended by Milton. Harris, right side. Harris against Irving. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. You guys know it's pick your poison when you are trying to cover Kyrie out of the pick and roll. Simmons passes to Harris. Inside. Burks looking around. He dishes it to Simmons. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Simmons got six. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Harris against Durant. Outside Jordan. Back to Durant. Beyond the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Harris, no good. And another miss. Woo. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Well, the multi-time scoring champion Kevin Durant is showing you he has got as complete a game as there is in the NBA. What a pretty pass. Passes to Harris. Looking to get it going. A shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Jordan. Now this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Here's KD. And oh, he jams it right over Tobias Harris. Wow! Well, you see, if you're going to foul him, you've got to wrap Kevin Durant up. He's too good at absorbing contact and finding a way to score. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. The free throw drops for Durant. What you love about Kevin Durant is he's an MVP level candidate every year, and yet there's a hunger and a thirst to get better at basketball. This is so fun to watch. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. The 76ers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Shooting two.
And the first one at the line is good. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. And MB drops them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Down it goes! Oh, wow. Down the it goes! Is answered. Oh, nice. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Brooklyn. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Right back after this break. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The 76ers trail by 14. We've got Jordan. Duran is out there with Karis LeVert. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's Irving at point guard. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Horford, no luck. Well, the defense flat out awful right there. And he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Here's KD. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. All the passion in New York is a pro sports city, Greg is unquestioned talk about the pros and cons though of being a player in new york you know the the opportunity personally prof and professionally is immense no doubt about it but so is the media scrutiny it can be very intense and the fanaticism does make it hard to live a normal existence and i think the guys who embrace being in a city like new york are the ones that typically are able to perform at the highest level so you can either thrive because of it or wilt because of it. Just kind of what your personal preference is. You called it, partner, and I have seen it happen both ways. Oh, I bet. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Some changes for Brooklyn. Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for Harris. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Josh Richardson comes in for Ben Simmons. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Nets head coach was going over with his team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do is stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin will see if they can keep focused. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Now, Thibel. In the corner, Horford with it. Off target from outside. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Let's a floater go. Dinwiddie's shot is off. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Pass to Embiid. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. 
Now here's Irving. And here's KD for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Richardson dishes to Embiid. Tipped away. Horford kicks to Korkmaz. Six on the shot clock. Feibel, the pass to Korkmaz. From deep three-point range, a rebound by the Nets. Allen's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Dinwiddie outside. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Outside Irving. Lets it go with a three. But they'll get another chance. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. The 76ers trail by 14. To the middle. Horford in the post. Working on Allen. Richardson outside. To the inside. Here's Embiid. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Now here's Durant. Fires from deep. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Thibault kicks to Richardson. Down low. Here's Embiid. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're up by ten. One sixteen left in the fourth quarter. present our New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And so it's Brooklyn with it. At one point, they led by 16. against Simmons. It's Durant on the wing. And the pass to Allen. Five to shoot. To end the drought. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. MB Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Kyle O'Quinn, he's checked in for Horford. And Robinson the third comes in for Tobias Harris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. And Raul Neto is subbed way. in for Ben Simmons. The free throw drops for MB. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. Lock at six. Lock 
Let's go. That one wide left. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. So it's the Nets picking up the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Kyrie, big numbers for you tonight. And I always wonder what it's like to be in a zone like that offensively. It feels amazing. Uh, you know, more importantly, we got the win. And I couldn't have done it without my teammates. They did a heck of a job of competing every, uh, every single minute of this game. It took everybody's effort from our bench. You know, it took a 15-man effort. And I'm glad we got the win. 15 men, but one man was the difference. Thanks, Kyrie. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.